everyone, my name is Michelle. I am a geography teacher from Alaska and um, I'm not teaching this season. I'm actually in Antarctica this year working here at one of the science research stations. My partner teacher did a really cool project with her students in which they recreated the Antarctic flag and I've got a whole bunch of flags here and I wanted to use those flags to do something really interesting and a lot of people pay a lot of money for this kind of a trip. There's cruise ships here in town right now. We have one right outside of our door and sometimes when they come into town, we give passengers on these ships a tour. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of McMurdo Station using some of these flags and help you get to see what cruise ship passengers see and what we get to experience every day. So I hope you enjoy this tour of McMurdo Station in Antarctica. All right, so welcome to one of the official stops, the McMurdo Station sign here at McMurdo Station in Antarctica. Behind me, we have an extra special treat, the Polar Star, which is the US heavy icebreaker that is here to help open up the channel, which has already, it's already done its work. You can see the ocean is wide open and it escorts our resupply vessels in and out. I chose this flag by Clara to represent this stop because she included some, a penguin and some stars and the ocean. And we've had a lot of really, really awesome wildlife this year. In fact, right along this section one morning, there were a bunch of penguins just hanging out, wandering around, having a good time. So let me give you a couple facts about McMurdo. It was established in 1955 during Operation Deep Freeze and it is the logistics hub for a lot of the scientific research that happens in Antarctica for the U.S. research station. So we have field camps that are out on the continent, out in South Pole, out of Waste Divide and studying the Waits Glacier. Most of that traffic comes through here, through McMurdo Station. It was named for Lieutenant Archibald McMurdo, who was on James Clark Ross's 19, or no, 1841 expedition. So welcome to McMurdo. Let's go to the next stop. Okay, welcome to the next stop on our tour, the building we call the chalet. It's the only building on station that looks like the ski chalet. I chose this flag from Olivia for this stop. One thing I really asked, liked about the symbolism in her flag is that she has a penguin inside of a penguin, which for her symbolizes how people in Antarctica protect wildlife, which is definitely an important part of the Antarctic Treaty and rules that we have to live by here on the continent. So a little about the chalet. It is the headquarters building for the National Science Foundation, which is the organization that administers the United States Antarctic program. This is also the building that I've been working in this year. So I get to live in this building every single day. It was built in 1967, no, sorry, 69 to 70, and come around back. It's really neat. So welcome to the, one of the most picturesque spots here on station. A lot of people love to come to these flags that surround the bust of Admiral Byrd and get a picture. These 12 flags represent the original 12 countries that signed the Antarctic Treaty back in 1959. And Admiral Byrd was the first person to fly over the South Pole. He actually had a really well-known Alaskan with him at that same time, Norman Vaughn, who wrote this book with Byrd at the bottom of the world. It's a really great read about their adventures as they camped out on the ice shelf just a few hundred miles from here and then took a flight across to South Pole. So welcome to the beautiful view of the chalet. It's been really great working in this building this year because I get this view every day. our next stop on our station tour. I chose this flag submitted by Z because it has a nice beautiful snowflake on it and that is represented in the name of this chapel, the Chapel of the Snow. So let me tell you a little bit about the history of this building. It was first built during Operation Deep Freeze in 1950. 
1856, but the first two chapels built down. And so the third and current building structure was built in 1988 to 1989. Let's go inside and take a look. So welcome to the Chapel of the Snows. This is a really pretty building with lots of different um, artwork from different religious backgrounds so that people can come here and have a peaceful place to come and celebrate their faith. There's a gorgeous stained glass piece with an Antarctic continent in the middle. And there are definitely sections here for multiple different religions to be able to practice their faith. There's also, quite commonly, you'll find someone playing at the piano, practicing their music. People will come in here and play guitar. And there's a lot of really vibrant music scene here in Antarctica, and it's great that they can have a nice quiet place to practice their music. And of course, at the back, we have some penguins. Welcome to Observation Hill and the next stop on our tour. I chose this flag by Joshua because he included a mountain on it and for him that symbolizes exploration of Antarctica. So let's take a look at Ob Hill. This is a nice hiking trail here in McMurdo. At the top is a cross for Robert Scott and three of his um, other fellow expeditioners who died actually on their way back from the South Pole. So there's a nice cross up top. And one thing that's amazing about climbing all the way up top to Ob Hill are the views that you get. So let's take a look at what some of those views might be. So from Ob Hill up top you can see the ocean. Today we have a cruise ship out in the bay actually. And those cruise ship folks are heading out to Hut Point and the peninsula right there. So we have great views of Hut Point from up top. You can also see all the way out to the ice edge, which now the ice is out, but often the ice edge is just past there. And then we can have nice views of town. A lot of people like hiking on this trail. The other thing that you can do is you can log in to www.usap.gov and if you see this equipment right here, one of those pieces of equipment is a webcam. So if you choose Observation Hill webcam, you'll be able to see what the current conditions are right in McMurdo. McMurdo also has a few uh, workout facilities. This one is fondly known as the Gerbil Gym because it has most of the uh, aerobic equipment. I chose this flag from Ava to feature in this one, a gorgeous picture of an emperor penguin. It's nice that we can all stay healthy and fit while we are down here working. There's actually quite a bit of yoga and other type of fitness activities here in McMurdo and here sits our flag from Ava right by some yoga blocks. And this is the beloved coffee house and I chose this flag from Nate because local penguins aka us McMurdites really enjoy hanging out here. It's actually essentially two Quonset huts put together. You can see our waste sorting system here too. It's two Quonset huts put together it's been here for years and years. Inside it's nice and cozy. People can hang out, play games, and just a nice relaxed coffee house atmosphere. It's actually coming down this next season, so a lot of people are kind of sad about that because it's a really great spot to relax and hang out. So welcome to the Crary Lab. It's our main science lab here at McMurdo Station. I chose this flag from Bree because she included a microscope on here and really that's our main purpose for being here in Antarctica is science. 
and I just happened to see one of my science friends. Hello everyone! This is Cece. She is going to be staying here all winter studying LIDAR, which is... Light ranging and detection. Light Yay. ranging and detection, so a lot of work in the atmosphere. It's super neat work. There's all sorts of science that happens here. It's a pretty interesting place. Welcome to Winter Quarters Bay. This is famous in a lot of the old Antarctic expedition stories, and it's also still used today by McMurdo Station as our place to offload cargo ships. Our last ship actually just left yesterday, no, today. Um, and but typically we build either an ice pier out here or we have a causeway this year, which is a modular system that helped to offload the boats because we don't have an actual pier. You can kind of see town behind me and then Ob Hill, Observation Hill, is that tall peak behind me. For this stop on our tour, I chose Erlen's flag and um, on this flag, what I really liked about this one was the stars that helped to symbolize the countries that are here working in Antarctica. And it made me think of this spot right now because the sun is getting a little lower in the sky. It's the late February and the sun will be setting for the first time in four months here in just a couple days. So welcome to the pier area and, and uh, Winter Quarters Bay here in McMurdo Station. Okay, and so the next spot on our tour is Hut Point Peninsula, and this is a great spot for wildlife viewing. Some years it's great, some years it's not. It's all up to the wildlife, but I chose Olivia's flag because she drew some beautiful penguins on here and included peace symbols, and Antarctica is definitely set aside for peaceful purposes only through the Antarctic Treaty, and we are required to stay away from animals and um, not influence their behavior and give them space to do their wildlife thing. But they have really, there's been a lot of wildlife up on this peninsula this season. It's been super, super neat to see them. So wildlife viewing is not a guarantee on any tour, but some days you get lucky and you get to see some really special wildlife here in this unique continent. So welcome to another stop on our tour. This is Hut Point and Vince's Cross. Just today here at McMurdo Station, we had a cruise ship and they had several of their passengers that were hiking up here. So it's a really popular hiking spot for cruise ship visitors as well as for a lot of us who live here in McMurdo. I chose this flag by Lillianne because one of the symbols that she used are 54 gray footsteps to symbolize explorers and also to symbolize the 54 current countries that are signatories to the treaty. A little more about Hut Point and Vince's Cross. Seaman George T. Vince was the first man to lose his life, unfortunately, here in McMurdo Sound. He was one of a large party, and they were caught in a blizzard. He, he unfortunately slipped and fell down these slopes, and his body was never recovered. So um, the cross here is a reminder that this continent can be harsh and unforgiving at times. So hope you enjoyed this beautiful, beautiful evening here at Hut Point. As you can see, the sun is getting really low in the sky. It's getting quite close to our first sunset on February 21st. And uh, I just love this time of year when the beautiful colors start coming out. So check this out from Hut Point Peninsula. Look at this super special treat I have for you. I'm heading up one of the hiking trails, going to our next spot. But wow! Oh my goodness! Look at these beauties! If you ever want to see penguin poop, there it is! All the green stuff on the snow. Gosh, there's probably 30 or 40 penguins. They're just bedding down. These are Adeli penguins that do live quite close to here in McMurdo Station. What a special treat. Here's some more wildlife along the trail. What a good night. These are skuas.
for our next stop, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get all the way up there. I wanted to take you up to Our Lady of the Snows. It's a memorial, and here in McMurdo we call it Roll Cage Berry. So as you can see, Discovery Hut is still quite near to McMurdo Station and it's right at the edge of Winter Quarters Bay. The old explorers just docked their ship here in the bay and then they used this particular facility for storage and they used it for plays. And on the outside you can actually still see some of the artifacts and you can see this poor old seal who has been frozen there for a very long time and you can see quite a few of their old pieces of equipment. This is the view tonight and it's just a wonderfully spectacular evening. 